What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. I'll race you to the carriage. Woman. Mr. Collins. What is it? What's wrong? Why have you come here? Oh, it's about Ted. No, no, I, uh, I've come here to apologize. You said you were sorry last night. Well, uh, then to explain. That's not necessary. No. Then, uh, you don't want me to explain, is that it? Of course not. Why should you? It's not your job. We, uh, we're not exactly friends. Mr. Collins, I think you need a friend. So do I. So you want me to stay? Am I, uh, translating you correctly? Now this room, it's no good. You shouldn't be in here. You should have a room full of light and sun. I, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I came here to talk about myself, didn't I? Not about your room. It's very difficult. You, uh, you've seen the strain in this house? Yes, I've even felt some of it. Samantha? She loves your son. Does she? In the wrong way, perhaps. Yes. Her love for him comes out of her hatred for me. Oh, and she hates me, too. She stopped classes today. What? Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. I'm sorry. That's my affair, and I'll deal with it. Oh, <laughs> yes. You're so young and innocent, aren't you? You're going to change this house, aren't you? Well, you keep trying. Do I? You hired me. Oh, I see. I keep forgetting things like that. I did, didn't I? Sometimes I think I'm simply marking time, just letting things drift along. I need you to tell me that I'm not. Has there always been someone who tells you that? Someone who reminds you of what life really is? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you that. Why? It was much too personal. Oh, now, we're not strangers, are we? I don't know. I, I, sometimes I think we aren't, and then... S and then last night? Or the night at the oak tree. Well, at least you've seen me at my rudest. Tell me, Daphne. Do you know what it is to be without love? Love is something I know very little about. Oh, I don't believe that. It's always frightened me. Sometime it won't. I don't like what it does to people. What has it done to you? Oh, so you have a secret. Someone you love? So you say, but you do, and so do I. But we mustn't keep secrets, you know that? Secrets only haunt us. They don't want us to forget things that are all over. But we've got to forget them. Because you and I are alive, you know? Oh, Daphne is her name. <laughs> Quentin. That's the first time you've ever called me that. Now I have something else to apologize for, huh? But I won't. Because I wanted to. And I think you wanted to. Yes. I don't want to ask questions. Questions simply ruin things. I feel very peaceful now. And I, I come here to talk. And now, talking is something we can't do. I've got to walk very slowly now. I don't want anything to happen to the way I feel. Do you feel the same thing? Oh, yes. 
You've got to depend on me. I'll depend on you. And much more important, we've got to trust each other. Because up until an hour ago, we didn't trust each other. I'll be leaving Collingwood in about an hour. Where are you going? Well, I've got to take care of something. Something very important. Something that concerns both of us. You'll be all right while I'm gone, won't you? Are you going to stand in here and saying, have I done the wrong thing? What have I done? What have I started? Am I frightened? <laughs> You're going to be here when I get back, aren't you? I'll be here. You better be. I didn't feel as he did. I didn't. It's part of my plan, that's all. It's just part of my plan. You were with Gerard all day, and Mother is furious at you. She likes him, too. Not anymore, she doesn't. He gave me something. Oh, Taddy knows so much. Did you know I was psychic? You, psychic? I am. He gave me this. I can see things in it. Sure you can. I'll prove it. He shouldn't have given you that. They won't let you have it, you know. It's changing. It's changing. The fog, it's drifting away. Don't talk like that. The future. The future. If you can see the future, then tell me what our new governess is going to look like. Because this one surely isn't going to last long. Oh, Dad! What is it? Dad! What do you see? I saw you! What was I doing? And me. We were... We were... What? We were lying there, in this room. We were dead. You are crazy. No, I saw it. We were dead. If you believe these things so much, you shouldn't look in them. Oh, I do. I do. Carrie, we're too young to die. Oh, Tad, I'm so frightened. You look like... We did now, which means it, it may be soon. Mrs. Collins, what? I have a note here from my husband. He came to see you this afternoon? Yes, he did. Now, did you cry and tell him what an ogre I was? No, I did not. Well... And I will not have you upsetting Tad's school routine. I mentioned it to him, yes. I felt he should know. Miss Harridge, I run this house. Mr. Quentin Collins does not. But you were Joanna's doctor. I told you, there was little we could do for her. She lived in the past. But when she escaped? Oh, we sent out an alarm, of course. We thought she would return to her home. She didn't. Then her body was found on the beach. Doctor, tell me, did she ever have any visitors? Oh, no regular ones, no. Few families bother coming once a relative is to be committed here. Just before Joanna disappeared, she did have one. I remember because, because she was quite violent after the girl left. I know who you are. Mm. 
You're the sister of Joanna Mills. Uh, you are Joanna's sister, aren't you? Quentin, I don't understand what you... Now, don't lie to me. You think it's easy for me to stand here and accuse you like this? After this afternoon? Please! Now, look at me. Now, I held you in my arms. You knew who I was. Even if I didn't know who you were. If this afternoon meant anything to you at all, you've got to tell me the truth. All right. You've got one hour to get out of this house. No! I am her sister, yes. You know, I... I kept hoping it wasn't true, but I... But I knew it was, but I... I kept hoping that somehow it was all a mistake. No, no, there's no mistake. And you've come here to drive me mad? Out of some ridiculous revenge? Oh. You think I need someone else to punish me? I've done enough of it myself. I came here to kill you. You caused my sister's death. She loved you so Daphne, much. Daphne, and... I loved her too. Yes, of course you did. Sitting in this house with your family and your friends being a Collins. Now, wait a minute. You think I wanted to stay here? Believe me, I tried to get a divorce and Samantha wouldn't give it to me. But do you think that I could have died too that day when I told her I wasn't going to see her again? Because you knew how much she loved you. Love, yes. But a love we both wanted to end happily. And each of us knew it couldn't. I believe me, she deserves someone better. I hope that she would forget about me. Well, she never did. All right, I'm sorry. think that makes it all all right, don't you? You think that excuses you? Well, it doesn't. You never even tried to... Tried to see her? What, do you think I wanted to start it all over again? Don't you know how I had to fight that? Sitting in this house, feeling all of my emotions freezing. All I had to do was go out and find her again. That's all I had to do to live. All I had to do, what would she do? Hidden away, waiting for one hour's visit? Is that what you wanted of your sister? Are you so young you don't know love? You know, love can easily disappear when you find the true impossibility of it. She wouldn't have resorted to the kind of revenge that you are. I think that's obvious. I think it would be better if you would have killed me. Instead of leaving Joanna's letters around. Joanna's letters? Joanna's letters? Don't deny it. You've lied enough. I can't deny anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Joanna's letters to me. Since you've been in this house, every three days I found a letter in this room. And that's why you snatched my letter from me? You thought that, you thought that I was putting them here? What did they say? I don't know. One said, one said that we had a second chance. Joanna and I. Another said that I was to meet her at a great oak tree. That's where I met you. There? Well, now you know why I was acting the way I was when I saw you. Oh, but I didn't know. I, I didn't know. She said that she was coming back. But she's dead. The letters were in her handwriting. Perhaps either someone else is doing it, or Joanna's spirit cannot rest. Quentin. Yes? You see, I loved her more than I loved anyone else. All I could think of was that when I grew up, I wanted to be exactly like her. See, she always seemed to have a magical quality. She could have been anything she wanted. When she was 18, she went away. 
And I was sent to an aunt in France. After she met you, she wrote to me of you. Oh, please let me tell you. She didn't, she didn't say you were married. I didn't know. And then suddenly I was back in this country. But I hadn't heard from her in months. I finally found her in that sanitarium talking of you. Endlessly, endlessly talking of you. You know, what we can do to people just by existing, how we can inflame people's minds just by being. Oh, quick. Oh, how wrong I've been, not seeing your torment. I thought you callous. It seemed as though all, all I saw was my obsession against you. Oh, Quentin, I am sorry. Good evening, Quentin. How quickly you and Miss Heritage have gotten to know each other. How well. Should I go away? Go or stay, whatever you wish. Daphne, perhaps you better go to your room. If you'll excuse me. Pretty. Very pretty. Don't start imagining things. She was just upset. Oh, and I suppose you were just comforting her. Yes, that's correct. Shall I pretend to believe that? Gabriel. Oh, now, Quentin, I know you've always had a roving eye. Well, I might have myself. That is, if my legs could follow my glance. But I do admire your bravery in trying to start something in your own house. All right, stop it. Well, you want me to change the subject. All right. Whatever became of Joanna Mills? I wasn't supposed to know about that, was I? How do you know about that? I just took the trouble to find out when you and Samantha were having your problems. See, I do care about you, dear brother. Well, tell me, you still hear from her? Why don't you tell me? What do you mean? Joanna's dead. May her soul rest in peace. Well, if that's what big brother wants, may she indeed. Gabriel, would you happen to know anything about any letters? What letters? Never mind. You know, sometimes I forget, despite our differences, we are brothers. And we are very close. We are. Let's keep it that way. Well, I shan't say a word about what I saw tonight, Quentin. Though I might wonder about those letters. Don't. <laughs> All right. All right, just another mystery to add to the current one. Whatever became of our beloved cousin, Julia Cobb.